You're listening to Tim Bulkley's 5-Minute Bible. I was preaching from the Sermon on the Mount recently, and one of the big issues that comes up in the passage I was preaching on is what it means when Jesus says he came to fulfill the Law and the Prophets. That word fulfill, plero, to fill up, fill out, complete, make perfect, or figuratively to fulfill a command, or to make a prediction come true, is quite a slippery one. It's interesting to look at where it's used most in the New Testament. Among the Gospels it's used most in John. In the whole New Testament it's used by far and away most in the second epistle of John. But the second Gospel for using it is Matthew. And my focus in this podcast is on Matthew, because that's the book I was preaching from, the Sermon on the Mount. Matthew's first use of fulfill in chapter 1 in verses 22 and 23 might well mean that a prediction has come about. Talking about the birth of Jesus, he writes, All this took place to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Look, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. The only slight problem with this is that Isaiah, unless you read him in the Greek, doesn't actually talk about a virgin conceiving. We run into slightly more difficulty though when we move into the second chapter. There Joseph has been warned in a dream not to stay in Bethlehem but to flee to Egypt with Mary and Jesus. And chapter 2 verse 15 and remained there until the death of Herod. This was to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet out of Egypt I have called my son. Now, there's only one other passage in the Bible that uses these words, out of Egypt I have called my son, or anything like them, and that's in Hosea chapter 11, right at the beginning. At first you might be able to make this into a case of a prediction that comes true later. When Israel was a child I loved him, and out of Egypt I called my son. Well, it's quite clear that uh, God loved Jesus and not only as a child. And according to Matthew, God called Jesus out of Egypt. Q.E.D. Except, I want to read on. I like the Old Testament. Verse 2. The more I called them, the more they went from me. They kept sacrificing to the Baals and offering incense to idols. Oh, does Jesus fulfill this prophecy too? We have a problem, Houston. What's going on when Matthew says that Jesus fulfills this or that passage of the Old Testament? It seems to me he clearly doesn't mean that there's been a prediction and the prediction comes about in Jesus. It must mean something else. Maybe what it means is the straightforward ordinary everyday meaning of the verb pleroo to fill out, to complete, to make perfect. What God intended in Israel. Jesus fills out, completes and makes perfect. What Israel ought to have been, Jesus was. When Israel was a child I loved him. Out of Egypt I called my son. The more I called them, the more they went from me. They kept sacrificing to the Baals, offering incense to idols. When Jesus was a child I loved him. Out of Egypt I called my son. The more I called him, the more he came to me until in the end he allowed himself to be the sacrifice. You see, what Israel should have been, Jesus was, fully and completely. He fulfilled what was written in the story long ago. He fills it out, completes it, makes it perfect. In this sense, Jesus fulfills the prophecy of the Old Testament. And that's why Christians read the whole Bible in the light of Jesus. Read the whole Bible with Jesus as its end point, its fulfillment. Amen. See you next time.